Hey everybody, once again, Jimmy from The Game Grader taking another look at another flip vid cam. This time it's the Slide. This one, the brand new one from Flip. Uh, this one priced at $279.99. That's $280. It is a 16 gig, four hour flip video. So let's talk about it. Let's go through some of the aesthetic stuff first. Of course, here's one of my favorite things. It's the wrist strap, uh, which is of course removable, uh, as always. Headphone jack so you can watch movies on the go. That's one of the selling points of this, and we'll talk about that. Uh, there's, of course, your uh, uh, tripod adapter, tripod spinner inner thing, <laughs> uh, your mini HDMI. Here's the patented flip, um, and this one, of course, comes with that little, I guess you can call it protection sleeve, elbow, I don't know what to call it, uh, but that will protect the um, insertion point, I guess that's this point here, uh, when it goes inside, so that's another added bonus. Of course, power, uh, here's your lens, uh, microphone, everything is here, like you've always seen. So let's compare it to the uh, Minnow, because uh, remember we did the Minnow um, earlier, we did the Minnow review earlier, uh, and here's the Minnow HD. This is two hours, it's eight gigs of storage, so it's, it's two hours of both battery and of uh, camera. Now, if you look, one of the big differences, of course, the size. Huge size difference, it's about one and a half, uh, one and a quarter, minnows is the slide but you'll notice that the low profile lens you do not see it it's not pronounced it's in it's inset inside the body which is a huge thing because now you can move it around as compared to that which i'm not a big fan of because uh that lens could get scratched up it's one of the most important things so there's one of the differences another is in the flip notice the housing here and the protection right there as opposed to all this being exposed and then it's exposed here it's a small thing, but if you have it in dirty places, a backpack, a pocket, uh, other un un unimaginable places, you want to have that little extra protection. So there's a difference. Everything's pretty much the same on the bottom, uh, except for the headphone jack, because this is more uh, made, and the marketing is more for you to play back the movies. So there's your comparisons. Uh, the one thing I noticed while we're talking about these, and I'll show you some of the, the footage right now uh, between the two, uh, as you can see that up on the screen right now, if you want a, a little more higher resolution look at it, uh, you can look at the two individual videos instead of watching them side by side. Those are also available on YouTube. Uh, if you want to check those out, youtube.com slash thegamegrader if you want to check out all the videos. The one thing I noticed is that the Minnow HD, uh, the screen resolution, although it's not as good, it's not the same. Uh, it's 320 by two, or 320 by 200, excuse me. Uh, that's how much the, the screen resolution is on the Minnow. It looked better. I don't know why. It looked better than it than did the slide. Uh, and it, it just, things were fuzzy. It was hard to tell on the slide exactly what is in the shot. Uh, excuse me, the Minnow is 320 by 240. The slide is 400 by 240. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Uh, the reason I mention that is because sometimes what's in the screen in the slide isn't actually what you're filming. And I don't mean like it's off by a whole bunch, but I mean... Uh, maybe some edges and the tops and bottoms are cut off a little bit uh, than really what you actually are filming. So that can be a little bit uh, unforgiving at some times. The minnow screen looked a lot more clear. Let's let's fire these up. I don't know if you'll be able to see right here um, the comparisons. They both fire up at the same speed. Um, the screen size in terms of the playback is a slightly bigger. Um, notice these are physical buttons here. These are on the screen. The physical buttons uh, we've noticed give you a lot more feedback and sometimes you'll be double tapping uh, things here to see uh, if they work or not. So there's some of the look there. It's kind of hard to tell. Here, let me put something with a little bit of contrast and a little bit of texture up there. There's kind of like a wicker basket. And it just seems to be, um, see one's a little more zoomed in than the other. They're both all the way out. And so there they're both filming. Um, it just, I don't know. It, it looks, it's hard to really tell um, when I'm filming it, filming, that's kind of difficult. But I've noticed that it, it seems a little more clear on the on the minnow than it does on the slide. Uh, also, you'll notice sometimes when you hit the uh, record button, it won't respond uh, all the time, um, or you didn't hit it hard enough, just because there's no feedback on the touch screen. It, it's not the best touch screen, it's not like an iPhone, an iPod Touch, a, uh, even a Blackberry Storm. It's an okay, it's a serviceable touchscreen, but sometimes you'll get frustrated with it. Not all the time, and uh, more often than not, you'll get frustrated trying to stop it. Uh, see, I hit it right there, it didn't, or I, I guess I started it back again. See, I, sometimes there's not a ton of response uh, from it, but most of the time, I would say, uh, there is. 
sometimes there's not. If you're used to holding it, if you were, say, uh, you like to hold it in your left hand, you'll notice that if you push it, see, push it too far, it will switch from record to play, and that could be an issue. And you get this new flip uh, video share software, which will allow you, it's kind of like uh, an interface for everything. And this is kind of like an, an iMovie and a YouTube gateway all in one. It gives you the ability to edit um, video. It can also, of course, be imported. And then you can share it privately through your flip channels. You can share it and send it in emails. You can uh, send it on to YouTube. You can, this is basically your gateway for distributing the footage that you took. So it's another cool included bonus. We've noticed that it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it's a pretty good way to, to deal with stuff. Some of the editing stuff is, is pretty simple. Um, you know, these are things that uh, are good. They go along right in line with the camera because the people that are getting the cameras aren't necessarily the, the uh, biggest um, film editors. So having this little simple stuff is, is a good way to, to get rid of the footage and send it out to the people you want to see it. So that's another added bonus that we really like. Uh, but let's take a look at what really sets the slide apart from the others. Let's take a look at this playback. So you slide this thing open and it turned itself off because it went to sleep, I guess. So we'll fire it back up. And this is that three inch screen we talked about. Resolution's pretty good on here. Um, and you have the ability, here's all your photos. You have two ways to scroll through this. The one is on the screen with the physical touch and you just touch the, see I was trying to slide it. You just touch right here and then it'll scroll through all the videos. Uh, these are all just, I guess, pictures of the table that our videos of the table I accidentally took. Or you can use, of course, down here, this little slide bar. It's kind of hard to see, see, it's right there. So you, it's a full slide touch uh, interface right there. And there's also a menu button right there. So you can check out the videos you have stored on channels, shortcuts, there's settings there. And of course, you can see all the videos that you've taken that will take you back to this. So that's one of the added bonuses. Another thing you can do in the Flip Video Flip Share software that's included is you can condense video files and watch up to 12 hours of video on the flip slide. So it'll condense the video to fit this native resolution here and it will allow you to hold s smaller resolution files. Of course, this is recording at 720p, so uh, you know the file size is gonna be a little bit bigger, but it will condense them in the flip share application and allow you to hold more footage. So that's another added bonus as well. Let's be frank, for $50 more, this is 280, this is 229, it's about 230. I don't know if I see a big difference. Of course, the added size, uh, both physically and based on the hard drive, I don't know if it's necessarily a, a huge, uh, worthy of a huge price increase. Sure, this is revolutionary. This is the first camera to have this shoot and share ability to flip out and watch stuff, but I don't know if it's necessarily worth $50. You can watch them back on this thing or you can export it onto your computer. I just don't know if it's worth $50 to pop, to pop out like this. This is still a great camera. This is a great, great camera, but it's not necessarily that much better than the Minnow HD. So it's kind of a hard sell for me. I like it, I just don't necessarily think, like I've been saying, it's worth the 50 bucks extra uh, that it is of the Minnow HD. Still a big fan of the Minnow HD. I love flip videos. I think these are awesome. I, I'm really glad to see that they're still doing very well because we always talk about the market and how iPhones and iPod Touch is gonna get camera and everything's starting to shoot in HD. Uh, you know, all the new the new cameras and Kodak starting to release some, some guys to compete with this. So it's good to see this new revolutionary thing come from Flip. Only expect bigger and better things from them. Wanna thank them for giving us a chance to play with the Slide HD. I recommend it if you don't already have uh, a flip video, I would stick with what you got, especially if it's HD. But if you don't, consider this. This is fun for the kids, for them to play with and pop out, watch videos, watch what they film. Uh, but other than that, if you have an existing Minnow HD, Ultra HD, there's not necessarily a need for an upgrade. Uh, so I would, I'd say probably a good solid B+. I like this um, uh, better, the Minnow HD better. It's smaller, it doesn't weigh nearly as much, and it's cheaper. I would recommend going this route as opposed to the slide route, but there are positives here that you can see listed below. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. This has been our review of the Flip Video Slide HD. Check it out.